A Colorado Public Radio article got us to turn our eyes to the sky and think about pot and the ozone. That's because the State Department of Health is already studying that. Nusha Roy explores the environmental impact of that marijuana study. It's a bit of a brain tease. What is their contribution to this overall ozone problem? One Caitlin Urso wants to solve about pot and the environment. She's working with the State Department of Health and gave us a quick science lesson that starts with the problem. Ozone is the number one pollutant of concern here in Colorado. We're not meeting EPA health standards for ozone. So the state is looking into what could be new sources contributing to the problem and turn their attention to marijuana. Sort of left this gap in environmental knowledge for states that have legalized. To be be clear, we are not talking about smoking, but the actual plant that emits what's called terpene, typically where the marijuana smell comes from. But those terpenes are volatile organic compounds. When those kind of compounds interact with other pollution and the sun, it adds to the ozone problem, which isn't good for the environment and not good for you and me to breathe. <laughs> it's bad. The state is working with four cultivators to research this, in part because of zoning and industry regulations that crowded cultivators into the Denver metro area, which is also where there's more pollution. So the question is if growing marijuana is adding to the problem. Well, I've been aware of this study for quite some time now. The National Cannabis Industry Association is on board with finding out more. So we support any research that can improve the environmental knowledge base and help us make uh, help make us a better industry and better neighbors. They're also already committed to going green. Uh, that includes uh, getting more uh, efficient lighting measures as well as overall cultivation techniques. Already have Urso says they're just place. trying to learn uh, more and couldn't rely on others to try and find the answer. So marijuana is federally illegal. Um, and typically when you have new industries come online, EPA is the one that is responsible for quantifying their environmental impact. So Caitlin said that she has seen a lot of companies already incorporating ways to be more environmentally friendly and that companies can now actually recycle their packaging. So that means if somebody goes and buys a product, they can then uh, use their product and then bring that packaging back to the dispensary. They'd sanitize it and then reuse it again after that. So, so this isn't the only industry the state is looking into. No, Caitlin actually said the most recent one was the craft brewing industry because it took off so much that they had to kind of look at what the environmental impact was. Found that most of them are pretty small, so they didn't have a huge impact, but they were working with them on efficiency, and that included not wasting any beer because if it evaporates, it releases ethanol into the atmosphere. So make your packaging efficient again. It would be a shame to waste beer. It is absolutely. It's good for the environment. Good for the environment. You heard it here first, folks. Thanks, Anusha.